Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous videos, we saw that jet streams are the cause of the movement of large air masses. Sometimes very cold air masses move from the polar regions far south, making for very cold temperatures, much colder than normal in those regions. And sometimes the subtropical jet streams, they move very, very warm masses very far to the north, giving unusually warm and mild temperatures, even in winter conditions, far to the north. So here's an example of something that happened well, about five years ago in 2013, December 3 to 4. We have temperatures that were relatively mild over much of the western side of the United States. Notice temperatures in North Dakota varied from 18 to 28 degrees, and those were nighttime, the, Mac, the coldest nighttime temperatures recorded during those days. Notice Salt Lake City had a low of about 45 degrees, and Flagstaff in Arizona had a low of about 30 degrees. But what happened about a week later? Notice seven days later, the temperatures had plummeted to minus 17 and minus 11 Fahrenheit. Notice in parentheses, I put down the temperature in centigrade or Celsius degrees to give you a feel for it. So it went from minus two to minus eight centigrade or Celsius degrees to minus 24 to minus 27 Celsius degrees just in a single week. Further south in Salt Lake City, nighttime temperatures of 45 degrees Fahrenheit went down to 3 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 degrees Celsius down to minus 16 degrees Celsius. And Flagstaff saw the largest change from 30 Fahrenheit to minus 22 Fahrenheit, from minus 1 degree centigrade or Celsius degrees to minus 30 Celsius degrees. In just a single week, temperature plummeted by almost 30 centigrade degrees. How did that happen? Well, it was simply a very large cold air mass moving south because of the dip of the polar jet stream that brought this cold air all the way down to the northern reaches of Flagstaff. It turned out a little bit further south. It was still a pleasant 30 to 70 to 50 degrees in cities just below this very cold line. But notice Flagstaff had temperature of minus 30 degrees Celsius. Just incredible how much of a change you can have in a very short period of time. And so this really doesn't have a lot to do with the amount of heat being generated by the sun, being absorbed by the surface, then re-radiated into the lower troposphere, held back by the greenhouse gases. This is simply a very cold air mass being moved in over a distance of 1,000 or 2,000 miles, making this entire region much colder than normal for that time of the year. About a week later, as that cold air mass moves over to the west typically, then everything begins to get much warmer again. So, Movement of air masses has a big effect on the temperature around the world and the climate around the world. So that's another aspect, another factor we need to take into account as we're trying to understand how the surface of the Earth is heated by the radiation from the sun and the hold back of the energy by the greenhouse gases. But we, don't, can't lose, we can't lose our vision on what's also happening with the large air mass movements of cold and warm air that can really change the temperature in a very short period of time over enormous ranges. And here's an example of what happened just five years ago.